So secondary organic aerosols are tiny particles composed of organic components. Inhaling fine particles in general can cause health problems, for example, heart disease or lung disease. So when we care about people's health, we're worried about how much they breathe in these particles. And also these particles can change our climate and reduce visibility. So formation of these secondary organic aerosol is not well understood. There are studies in the lab that show precursors from gasoline or diesel emissions may be important, but we wanted to go to the field, to a real environment, and test these ideas. So we made measurements, airborne measurements, over the LA Basin, and tried to understand what were the emissions, how old these emissions were, and eventually try to get to the answer of what is important for formation of these particles. We expected that diesel emissions are the dominant source of these SOA particles. But in reality, what we found was the opposite, that it's actually gasoline emissions that are dominant for SOA formation. Our results mean that reducing emissions from gasoline vehicles can significantly reduce concentration of these SOA particles in the air. It's exciting to do such a study because at the end, we learned what the source of these SOA particles in an urban environment is. And this will give air quality managers some of the information they need to make decisions related to air quality and SOA pollution.